Good morning. Time for Channel 2's Pet Project. Katie Fine from the Houston Humane Society here this morning with Selma, who is just gorgeous. <laughs> she is so cute. She's a very Little interesting face. mix. Talk about her mix. Yeah, so she's a Dachshund Terrier mix. Um, she came in through an animal cruelty seizure, a hoarding case on Wednesday. Um, so she, you know, it's hard to tell exactly where the owner's intentions started, but she's very wire haired. Um, she's got a long body, but short, cute little legs. Yes. She doesn't really want to show off right now, but um, yeah, she's a sweetheart. She'll probably, she's at, she's about a year and a half, so she's full grown. Right. She's right. about 22 pounds, so. And, and she's a little timid right now. Yes. She's really sweet. Uh, she came in, and you can tell she just said, okay, Katie, your lap is great. Yes. I'll stay right here. Yep. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, but she's great. I think that uh, we won't have any problems. Someone's going to say we want her to be a part of our family, much like we did uh, last week hey. as well. We have Bianca. You may remember Bianca. She came in, and we're happy to say that Bianca has a new home as Yes, well. she got adopted. Yeah, she got adopted last weekend, and she was also um, uh, from the Matagorda animal cruelty seizure case. Right, right. So. Good opportunities for people to take these dogs and give them new homes, and yes. they deserve them, certainly. All right, but this is the time of the year when we're talking about holidays, and so there's stress that goes along with that, some tips that we can help navigate that. Yeah, so in the holiday season, there's everyone's traveling, and so we just want to make sure that everyone's doing it um, safely. So we say first and foremost, as I always say, that make sure that uh, your vaccinations and your medical records, your microchip and collar are all up to date. Um, if you are traveling, and you have an option to drive or fly, we highly recommend driving. Mm -hmm. We've all heard the horror stories of flying. If your dog is small enough to go with you onto the flight, like into the cabin, then that's great. If not, we really suggest you drive. And practicing is a good thing because some yes. dogs don't do well with even car rides. Right, yeah, so teaching them the motion of like, you know, how to get comfortable in the car and having a little like travel kit with some food and water, some bowls, um, leashes, poop bags. And then also um, some a fun fact is um, before you go on a car ride, maybe three to four hours before is when you should probably feed them so they have time to digest so they don't get car sick. Mm -hmm. And then it's always good to bring bottled water with you okay. um, so that if you're like at a local rest stop or something and you don't know the quality of the water, you can make sure to give them, you know, the good stuff, only the best. Only the best stuff <laughs> for your doggies and for Selma as well, yes. right? Beautiful eyes, yes. Selma, with your little short, cute legs. And then well, the biggest thing, only because we've talked about it before, is never leave your dog in a car unattended. Never, mm -hmm. never. But you yes. can park your car at the Humane Society as you <laughs> head to pick up Selma today. We might add an extra one in there. Absolutely. 14700 <laughs> Almeda Road, Southwest Houston. Get on out there. They're going to be there. By the way, we have animals in need of a family on our Houston, our Adopt the Pets section on clicktohouston.com under the Consumer tab. That's on the Consumer tab. Head on out there. But Selma, you saw her eyes. Come on. How could you not want to get Selma today, huh?